All right guys, so I know I look a little bit crazy right now, but I decided to come on and do a test of my new flat iron. I don't even know how to say the name. This is what it looks like. It's a one and a half inch. Um, it's got velvet on it. It's made by Joubert or Joubert of Paris. It is the um, titanium tools flat iron professional strength flat iron one and a half inch width um when i went to get my hair done um by my boyfriend's brother's girlfriend tika at her beauty school on friday she used this flat iron on me and it was great i thought it made my hair so super straight and smooth and silky and shiny so i just had to go get it um i picked it up at sally's this morning it is 49.99 um, and with it, when you buy a Jaber, um, any Jaber flat iron, you get a free set of ceramic, um, hot curlers. So I thought that was a great deal. I don't know what the price of these is themselves, but I mean, even if they're only 10 bucks, great gift to get for free. Um, so I was really happy about that. It's been, you know, about five hours now since I washed my hair um, so it's mostly dry so I'm just gonna use my trusty blow dryer here and I'm gonna straighten out the the curls and then I'm gonna go at it with a flat iron I'm not gonna straighten it out super straight if you can see I already started before I decided even to do the video I just kind of pulled the blow dryer through the curls to pull them straight a little bit um, so I'm just gonna finish doing that and then I'm gonna flat iron it Okay, I'm back and I'm below dried. I'm, you know, it's fairly straight now. So the flat iron won't have too much work to do, but um, I definitely wanted to try this one out because I've been having some trouble with my chi. It, when I put it in, it pulls at my hair, especially at the front because um, my hair has, was thinning a little bit in the front. It's finally starting to come back in since I stopped um, putting so much heat on it um, and stopped wrapping it, which I think was a terrible, terrible thing for my hair. Um, so pulling on my hair really bothers me. This one did not pull at all. So I'm really excited to see what it can do when I'm using it. Um, I know it's always easier for stylists to do it because they can get a better grip on your hair and they can see the back. Um, but I'm usually fairly good at doing my own hair. So I want to try this one out. All right. So let's see. So this is my hair. This back section. It's got a big wave in it right there. It's a little bit frizzy. I usually don't take two small sections. Again, I don't have anything in my hair except for a leave-in conditioner and a heat protectant. I usually use a, a rat tooth comb, um, especially if it gets tangled. Put it up at the roots. Pull it through. Looks pretty good so far. Just like every flat iron, it's got that like burned smell. Um, I could sell it really when I turned it on, but I'm sure that's just because it's brand new. I just took it out of the box. I'm gonna try it one more time. Well, looks pretty straight. Try the other side. It's very hot. It's a lot hotter than my chi. It's like burning my hand to hold it. Um, it's because right now I have it on the highest setting, which is 40, and it goes up to 450 degrees. So I'm assuming that it's right now at 450 degrees. I don't know how hot my chi gets. My original chi that I had only went up to like 356 degrees. Um, and that one was, you know, okay so i'm assuming my newer chi gets hotter if you can hear the music in the background it's sarah borellis i love sarah borellis if you don't love sarah borellis you should learn to love sarah borellis it's good enough all right so this one works pretty good I'm just gonna keep going through and see one thing i'm noticing about it is that i'm squeezing it with all my might but i can't feel it against my hair so i can't tell you know if it's actually you know, grabbing my hair. I mean, I can see it is, but like in my chi, I could always feel it pulling when I would pull. I'm squeezing it like pretty tight right now. Um, this one I can't feel. I don't know if that's good or bad. 
so I'm just getting it to cut my roots there. Sometimes I just put it at the roots, let it sit. Go in and out. This sucker is really hot. That really hurt my hand just now. So that maybe is one downfall. I could turn it down, but I feel like if I don't have like a whole lot of heat on my head, that it's not doing me any good. Alright, so I'm finding that the sections for this one maybe need to be a little bit smaller than I'm used to doing with my chi. I don't know if that's maybe just because I'm not used to it yet. But, like I usually do like big sections like that with my chi and it would get it, but this one didn't get it all. I don't know why. I don't usually have to go through my hair this much with my chi to get it straight, so I don't know. I'm not sure yet how I feel. When she used it on me, it was great. I don't know. Maybe it might have to do with the blow dry technique also. Because when she blew dry, she blew dry it with a, a flat brush first. And then she went back through with a round brush. And that's just too much for me. I'm not doing all that work. Um, consequently, though, I was there getting my hair done for four hours. Whereas I could do my own hair um, in 30 to 45 minutes, depending on... You know, what I'm trying to do. So, I mean, she did wash and trim it also, but the blow dry flat iron did take a while. My hair did look good last week, but it took four hours to get there. Oh, this thing is hot. That I don't like. I'm afraid to turn it down because I'm already having enough trouble getting it straight. I don't put oil in my hair because I have very bad skin. I am very acne prone. That's why I can't put grease in my hair because my skin already has enough oil sitting on it. I will get a zit in an instant when I put grease in my hair. Okay guys, so I don't know what happened. About halfway through the video, my camera started to freak out on me and it started going in like slow motion, frame by frame, and my Dialogue kept going, but the camera was not keeping up. So, um, I think I only got about halfway through my hair before that happened. So I just went ahead and finished it. And actually, it came out really, really good. Um, it's got a lot of movement. Um, sometimes with flat irons, you know, it, it just kind of like clumps your hair together. You can't really move it. But this one, I feel like my hair is, you know, free to move around. I can flip it around. It's, it's really smooth. It's really shiny. You probably can't tell but um I actually really like it um it didn't pull at my hair at all which I think is the number one benefit of this flat iron for me because I hate when tools pull at my hair um this one slid through really smoothly um the one thing that I didn't like about it was that it was so hot because my left hand right now is really sore. Um, so if you're going to use it, if you do get it, if you're going to use it and you turn it up all the way, I would recommend maybe getting one of those hot, those heat gloves, which I think I might get um, because I'm not sure how I'll feel if I turn it down. I did have it all the way up to the setting of 40. I might try next time turning it down to 30 and see if it still will do the job. Um, if it does, then great. If it doesn't, then I'll just get a glove and that's fine too. But as an alternative to a hundred dollar plus chi, I think that this one is a great alternative for $50 plus a free gift. Um, I definitely would recommend this to you guys to buy. Um, I'm really happy with it. It did take me a little bit longer to use it. Again, I think that it might be just because, um, I'm not used to it yet. I'm not really sure, you know, how big my sections can be to work with it. Um, but I liked it. So that's all. I don't know if this video will be helpful to anybody, but um, it's helpful for me. I guess that's really all that matters, right? Um, I will try these hot rollers probably in a little bit. I'll try them some going out in a little bit, even though I should be doing homework. I have a paper due at midnight, and I have not started it, and it's 540, and I'm going out at 7. So um, if the hot rollers work, I'll put a little... Um, bit of them in the info box and I will put the, the flat iron info in the info box too if you decide to try it out. So that's it. It's Saturday. Have a nice day or a nice evening. Bye.